What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to do a history lesson and we're going to implement a simple calculator in the world's oldest programming language, which is Fortran. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to build a simple calculator in the command line using Fortran today, the world's oldest programming language. And chances are you think if you don't know what Fortran looks like, you might think that Fortran is extremely complicated because it's so old and because old languages are usually very complicated, C, C++ and so on. Uh, but actually Fortran is quite easy to read and it's not that different from Python, at least for our purposes here. When writing a calculator, you're going to see that it's very easy to write a calculator in Fortran. So this is more of a history lesson than anything else today. So I just want to show you what the oldest programming language looks like. And we're going to start building. Now, one thing that you need to have installed on your system is a Fortran compiler. So in my case, I'm going to use G Fortran. So just use your package manager to install G Fortran if you want to follow along. And then we're going to create a script called calculator.f90. So f90 is the file ending or the file extension for Fortran. And we're going to start by defining our program. So we're going to say program is going to be a calculator calculator, this is just the name of the program. And then we're going to say end program calculator. And in between, we're going to have our logic. So that is our Fortran program here. And we're going to start by defining some variables. Now, first of all, I want to say that I don't want to have any implicit variables. So I want to always define the variables explicitly. So I'm going to say implicit none, and then I'm going to define uh, three numerical values, I want to have one input number, a second input number, and then the result. So I'm going to say that I want to have floats and Fortran floats are called real. So real valued numbers. Um, and I want to have the values num1, num2, and result. So this is basically the definition operator. So number one, number two, and result are going to be floating point numbers, real valued numbers. And then we're going to say also, the operator is going to be a character of length one. So character length one, and then colon colon operator. So that is my operator now with the two uh, numbers and also a value for the result, which is going to be calculated. And now what we're going to do is we're going to print some messages, we're going to get some input and we're going to do the calculations. So in Fortran, if you want to print something, you just type print, then you specify the formatting, you can just use an asterisk to get the default formatting. And then you provide a message, for example, simple Fortran calculator. And you can do that. One more time here, you can say something like input, the first number, for example, and Basically, if I already run this, so I can get out of this, or I can open up a terminal here, and I can say G Fortran, and then calculator F90 dash O calculator. And then I can say point slash calculator, you can see that I already get the output. Now you can see that there is a leading white space here. This is just a default Fortran formatting. If you don't want to have that, you're going to have to specify your custom formatting. So for example, if I want to say this is only going to be a string, what I do is I provide the formatting an A in parentheses. This means that this is only going to be a string. So I can also do the same thing here. And this gets rid of the leading white space. So I can run this again. Um, keep in mind, you always have to recompile. So you always have to run this before running the program, and then you get the strings. Perfect. So now let's input a number, let's read in the first number. And we're going to do that by using the read function or the read statement. Uh, we're going to use an asterisk here again to not specify any specific formatting. Now we could also specify that we want to read in um, in a specific format. So I can say F5.2 to specify that this is the format of my floating point number, five digits, and then two decimal places. So two decimal places after the comma or after the point and five before. But uh, we are just going to go here with the basic asterisk. And whatever we read in from the user is going to be stored into number one, then I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste that I'm going to replace first by second. I'm going to replace number one by number two. And then we're going to say, finally, also, I want to have 
the operator. So input the operator. And we're going to say read whatever we get into operator. All right, so that's the input. Now, we need to make a case distinction now. So we can have plus minus multiplication and division. So that's going to be the four operators that we implement here. And for this, we're going to use a basically a switch case statement, but in Fortran, it's called a select case statement, we just have to say select case, and then we specify the variable to look at operator. So select case operator, we end this with an end select statement. So and select and in between we have the cases. And we're going to specify the cases, for example, plus the case plus is going to uh, do something and it's going to say that the result is going to be equal to number one plus number two. And then we're going to print that output. Now here, I don't want to use the default formatting. I also don't want to just say it's a string. Here, I want to have a uh, more advanced, you could say, formatting, which is going to be first some text, and then a floating point number, let's say with 10 digits before the point, and then two decimal places. And the content is going to be the result is, and then here I want to have result. So that's going to be it. Now I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it three times, I'm going to replace here <clears throat> the addition by subtraction. I'm going to do it here with multiplication. And I'm going to do it down here with division. Now for the division, I also make uh, I also want to make the um, the check if the second number is zero, because the division by zero is not allowed. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an if statement here. <clears throat> we're going to say if number two is not equal, this is slash equal, so not equal to slash equal to zero, we're going to do all of this. Otherwise, so else, we're going to print the message that division by zero not allowed. And in the end, we're going to say and if and I think Thing. Did I mess up something here? Oh, sorry, I need to add a then statement. So if and then this is going to happen else this is going to happen and then and if and select and this is actually our calculator in Fortran. So you can see that the language is very readable. It's not complicated at all. We can get out of this here now and we can say G Fortran calculator F90 dash O calculator. And then I can just run this. And we can say 10, 20, plus, and the result is 30. I can say 20, 20.675. And then plus, and I get 40.67 because we allow for two decimal places. Of course, we can change that if we want to. Uh, let's try the other, uh, the other ones. Let's say 10, 20, multiplication, 200. Let's say 200. Uh, to division. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, I think I figured out the mistake. The problem is that slash is not being parsed correctly. I think we can fix that by just saying that we want to have uh, a string input here. So I'm not sure if that's going to fix it. But let's give it a try. Let's say 10 to slash. Okay, now it works. So that was the issue. And also, we can add something else to it, we can say, uh, calculator dot f90. And we can add a case here because now we didn't get a message The script just ended. Uh, but if we want to get a message here, if something didn't work uh, correctly, we can say case default. And then we can say print a please use a valid uh, operator. Because I think that was the issue. We, we thought it could be something with a division, but it actually was just that the slash was not recognized. So now we can run this, I can say 10 to slash and I get the result. But then if I say 10, zero slash, I'm going to get division by zero not allowed. So this is how you can build a simple calculator in Fortran.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you for watching. See you in the next video and bye.